hey hey y'all welcome to the channel for those of you that are new welcome to birth and bosses with felicia i am boss lady for you guys i hope you're having an amazing day guys i'm having a great great day i wanted to do a real quick video for you guys i'm superly superly busy today it's superly a word if it ain't i just made it one i'm superly busy today guys but i wanted to stop by to do a quick video for you all as you can see i have some baskets that are incomplete okay baskets and unbaskets okay so guys if you've been following me since i've been on youtube you know that we use handbags as pocketbooks guys this this has been one of the greatest sellers that i've had over the years of my selling get um so i've been doing these for quite some years started but um I also have a boutique, if you do not know, me and my son have a boutique called Mom, I'm sorry guys, Moms and Sons Boutique. And we sell handbags in our boutique, guys. So this is one of the handbags that I had left over from Valentine's Day. So we're gonna go ahead and incorporate this and use it for Mother's Day. So everything that I'm showing you guys is not set up how it's gonna be. This is what I do when I'm kinda like getting behind and need to get caught up. I'll just go ahead and set different baskets, unbaskets, boxes, whatever I'm going to use. I'll go ahead and set them on the table and I'll just start laying in things that are going to go with that particular setting. Okay. Once I've gotten about five or six things gathered together, then I come back and um, put everything where I want it. Um, everything is kind of pretty much sitting where it's going to be sitting at. I'm just going to come back and do different things like for this basket right here or uh, this box. I'm going to raise this up, okay, so that that's seen back there. And um, this came from Dollar General, you guys, after Christmas. I think I paid like 50 cents for that, I believe. Um, and I found this, y'all, yesterday at Dollar Tree. I love to go to Dollar Tree because every day it's a new find at Dollar Tree. But it says, be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. Well, I already knew that I had gotten some of these. I think I got like two or three of these pineapples from Walgreens. Um, what was it? After, I don't know when those pineapples were. Maybe some of y'all that got them may remember. But anyway, I knew I had those. I was like, let me grab two of those so that I can put them in the basket with my pineapples. And that's why, guys, it's so good to um, remember what's in your stockpile, write down what's in your stockpile, or just go through your items periodically to remind you. If you're like me, you have buckles of stuff, okay? And it's hard to remember from year to year what you buy, but it's just some things that's unforgettable in your mind. So I already knew about the pineapples. So I knew I had to pick up these signs. But when you are keeping up with what you have, when you go into stores, you are able to pick up items because a lot of the items that you see, I don't pick them up at one time. All of this stuff is just a collaboration of stuff that I've got over a period of time. When I go, when I bought this, what does it say? Sift, Risk, and Bake sign I got from um, Hobby Lobby. When I got that, I already knew when I got it. See, a lot of people was leaving that behind, but I already knew when I got it, it was going to be a baker's basket. So I got um, that pan as well, and I got that cookie spatula from um, Hobby Lobby. And then I got this book, guys. Be on the lookout for really, really nice books in Dollar Tree. I always tell you guys, that's one of the main um, departments or one of the main sections that I go in when I go in Dollar Tree. I automatically go to the books because you can get some amazing books from out of Dollar Tree. So I got this really, really nice book. I already knew in my mind that it was gonna go with a baker's basket. I got this um, baking pan from Hobby Lobby, paid, uh, I think I paid 99, no, $1.39, cause it was $13.99 and I bought at 90% off. Again, people were leaving those items behind, but I already know guys in my mind when I see stuff, I already know pretty much what I'm gonna do with it. And if I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, I know I'm going to find something to do with it. That's just what crafters do. Um, all the other little items I got from Dollar Tree, including this cocoa and this little cake designing um, icing bag, okay? I got those items from Dollar Tree. So I just get two or three or one or two expensive items, or they were expensive, but I didn't pay expensive costs. 
but I put one or two expensive retail items in my baskets and then just add a couple little odds and ends, sometimes from Dollar Tree, sometimes from other stores. Um, same thing with this. I got all this stuff basically came from different stores. These towels, you guys know, I just got five of these for a penny, but some of them I paid 50 cent for them during the um, clearance event. I got these right here for a dollar. This was Dollar General clearance um, after Christmas sale. When the sets went on sale, I got that. I got this one for a dollar. I found quite a few of these. I fell in love with that box. And I was like, I definitely know I'm going to be using those for Mother's Day. So you see how I just go in and start grouping colors together. I already see in my mind, I was like, okay, we're going to do pink and blue. So go in my stockpile, pick out pink stuff, pick out blue stuff pick out some blue items stick them in here when i get ready to design i may use it all i may not use it all this is one of the blankets i got from dollar general a couple um weeks back but yeah that's how i start to design stuff when i'm getting behind just go ahead and grab four or five baskets let's go ahead and start laying items in and then once we get five six however many you want to get established then we'll go back in and put everything together and so that way one day you can spend putting grouping all your items together and then the next day you can spend the time wrapping them up or then you can use one of your days where you're just making bows okay so this is a way that helps me get caught up when i'm behind and yes i am behind yes this is mother's day and mother's day isn't until may but guys i am oh gosh i'm still working on some of my Easter baskets. I'm really about to the point where I'm just going to stop and sell what I have and just be done with that. But y'all know when money call, y'all know we're just going to keep right on going and going and going. So I'm just going to go because I know after Mother's Day, I'm going to take somewhat of a break. I'm going to do some stuff for Father's Day, but nothing major. Okay. I promise you I'm not going to do anything major because I need to take a break. I need to give my body a break. I need to give my mind a break. Okay. So I'm going to take a little break after this. I'm going to still be doing my videos and all, but I definitely will not be doing a whole, whole lot for Father's Day. Most people that are gift basket designers know Father's Day is the least sought after holiday. Now, it's still a great time to make money because I still make quite a bit of money, but definitely not the amount of money that I make for other holidays. So I'm going to stick with it for um, Easter and Mother's Day. Do what I can do. I'm going to roll these baskets up out of here, guys. But yeah, this is what I'm working on. So I just wanted to show you all what I am working on. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys are working on. And I promise you within the next several days, guys, we are going to do a live drawing for the $100 giveaway for the 10K. Um, for me reaching my 10K subscribers, we will do that the next few days on the video. Okay, the um, time has the time slot has closed. It was at 6 o'clock today. And thank you so much for you all that have sent in videos. I'm going to take the next day or two. Well, I know it won't be tomorrow. So just give me a few days, y'all. I promise you I'm not going to forsake you. We're going to draw and give this $100. But it's going to take me some time to go through my emails and um, get all of the videos saved and make the videos. It's going to take me a few days. You all know tomorrow if you watch my live yesterday, we are recording live for Word Network tomorrow. Um, my son will be preaching on Word Network. So we are having live recording tomorrow, which is Friday at my church. So I will not have time to deal with that tomorrow. So I'm going to try my best to get a video in early tomorrow before I get ready to go. But if not, guys, y'all just continue to watch older videos and I will see you guys in the next day or two. Okay. I love you guys so much. Thank you for those of you that sent in your video. I absolutely love each and every one of them. I love each and every one of you guys. Oh God, it was so, so fun guys. I can't wait until I make the video and show you guys what it was really about. Okay. I love you guys so much. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, guys. Hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, you will be the first to be notified. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag. Until the next video, bye.